Mark MS 45. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Ture, yes, the payment of 13 million three hundred and eighty three thousand six hundred. Yes, please. To GIA. Yes, please. To be paid for pilgrims yes. identified from the different regions of the Gambia. That's correct. No, um, <coughs> do you confirm that this was a payment made from the um, Gambia Revenue Account with Guaranteed Trust Bank? That is correct. So, the pilgrims for, for the Hajj that were identified mm -hmm. by the President yeah. and um, sponsored seemingly by the President were yeah. actually paid for from public funds? That is correct. And the instruction is that the money would be refunded. Was the money ever refunded? I, don't, I doubt it very much. I don't think it was refunded. Do we have any evidence? Any? So I can think so. Do you know anything about um, the construction of boats, um, mm -hmm. construction of boats, boats by the, uh, on the instruction of the of the president? Yes, I am aware of one incident where. Sorry, sorry, we are, we are missing out on this one. Construction sorry. of what? Boats. Boats. B O A T S. B O A T S. Boats. Thank you. Yes. Yes, um, I'm aware of one incident uh, where um, he asked us to pay to the governor of the, the former governor of uh, the North Bank region um, an amount which was um, to be uh, paid to a boat builder. What were those boats used for? Um, that I think uh, I'm not too sure, but uh, I think they were to be given to. Uh, people in the, in the communities to fish and uh, they were to be given to. to we, I, I, we didn't hear the last bit. Okay. Sorry, uh, we've been hearing you, but unfortunately you start with a high pitch and then, and then you go. Now. Sorry about that, please. Sorry. About so that. we uh, can you say it again, please? Well, I'm saying that I am aware that um, an instruction was given for a certain amount of money to be paid to the governor of this. Uh, former governor of the North Bank region, for owner transition to a boat builder. And um, she asked what the boats were meant for. And I said, uh, you know, they were given to the members of the public, you know, to use, usually at the community level. Did you get that? They were given to the Did public. Get... Even I didn't hear that one. Useful. Okay. So they were given to the members of the community for fishing, to use for fishing. I see. Fishing for the community or fishing for the president? No, not for the president. Not for the president. Ah. They were used to just to support the communities, you know, yeah. ah, you know in the drive for food service efficiency. I see. Yes. So this, this youth development project, are you aware of any young entrepreneur that was funded from this youth development project? No, ma. Your development fund? No, no, no. You said you had another document relating to the acquisition of dunes. Yes, can please. I have, can I have it now? Yes, it is here. Yes, you were looking for it yesterday, but could yes. not be located. It is here. Do you know whether um, the ex-president actually started operating the Dunes Hotel? Uh, I'm not aware of that, ma. Um, could you just read this, please, before I tender it? 
for the record. Can you kindly read that? Okay, I should read this? Yes, please. Okay, it was an instruction to the Malayan Director of the Sky Bank Limited. From? From the Office of the President. Okay. What does it say? The, the subject is request for transfer of funds. Mm -hmm. And the video on the sign hereby requests you to effect the following please, transfer. Please, slowly, so that we can hear you distinctly. Okay. That we the undersigned hereby request you to effect the following transfers from the Gambia National Petroleum Company Limited account number 2520031538 to the following. One, the sum of US dollars 585,000 585, to Mr. David Ford as follows. Name of bank, JP Morgan Chase Private Bank. 1211 Avenue of the Americas, New York, NY 10036. The ABA number 021 The SWIFT is Chase US33. Account number 739320750. Account name DBF2, uh, Roman numerals 2. Associates, money market. And then the other one, number, the payment number two, the sum of 1.5 million euro, or its equivalent in US dollars as follows. To Miguel Construction SRL, Trust Bank Gambia Limited, account number 11012854601. BBAN 00210110128546019. Signed. Mumudu Stabari, Secretary General, and um, Sec. Professor al Dr. Yahya E.J.J. Jame, President of the Republic of the Gambia. Now, you did tell us um, on your last, on the last adjourned date, yes, please. that the first transfer was for the purchase of the Dunes Hotel. Yes, please. Now, the second transfer of 1.5 million euro to Michela Construction, what yes. was it for? It was meant for, they were supposed to um, construct sleepways. Sorry? I said they were supposed, it's a company, it's an Italian company. Yes. They said they were going to construct slipways for the ferries. Slipways? Okay. Yes, slipways for the ferries. But um, I don't know if they did. Because I remember the former Secretary General Mouro Sabali advised the President not to make this payment. He advised him not to make this payment because, you know, um, he did not, uh, it was not comfortable. That meaning uh, he, um, that he did not trust the process. Mouru Sabari advised him not to pay this amount. Which ferries? Which ferries? The sleep is for which ferries? For the Banjul, Banjul uh, Terminal, and I think Bara, and um, you know, other, other, other uh, locations. All right. And the money was paid? The money was paid. But I Thank can you. Say, tell you for sure that the former Secretary General Mouru Sabari advised him not to pay this amount. All right. But he still went on to pay. He didn't, he, all right, let's I, have it done. I'd like to intervene. Okay. Please. On that point. Yes, please. About advising the president. Yes. In your earlier yeah. uh, testimony, mm -hmm. you mentioned was there was gravity mm -hmm. associated with asking questions. Yes. I assume it's the same thing with... This, is a, this is a real question. I think he just took the bull by the horn and um, you know, just advised him not to pay. It was a rare occasion. No, no, I'm not finished. That, I was no, going to say, yes. asking questions as well as advising yes. against certain decisions. Yes. Could you give us a concrete example of the consequences of advising him? What happened to Momodi Sabali after he advised that? Um, it depends on the... I don't know how he said it, but I, I know I discussed this with him and he advised him. The way you but speak, we eventually, can understand. Eventually, you know... Mouru Sabali suffered the consequences. Audible. You are not audible. What was the consequence of advising? He was removed from office. 
as a result of this advice. as a result of this and other instructions okay. and, and other advices so the consequence a concrete example is you got fired but the concrete example is what you got sacked for advising yes that's a concrete example yes and that's one of the reasons why most people did not advise or ask questions i would want to believe that yes